Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We're in a 2004 Chevy Avalanche with a 5.3 liter V8. Very clean truck. Only has 67,000 miles on it. And a uh, local shop here called me up and they say it's running really poorly. And it seems like it's only running on four out of eight cylinders. Uh, on one bank, they disconnected the ignition coils. No change. I'm like, okay, well. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, first thing, we haven't started yet, it's a cold start. <clears throat> um, scan for codes. Fuel system 2 lean bank 2, engine misfire detected. And coils B, D, F, and H. Primary circuit problem. Now this is because they did the cylinder drop test, unplugging the coils on bank 2. Uh, and then they said there is no, no change. So, let's... Uh, I'm just going to reset these codes just to make sure we have no coil faults. Clear the codes out. Now usually you don't do this. You want to look at freeze frame, etc. In this case, since the problem is happening like right now, I haven't started it yet, but I assume you know it runs really poorly. We don't really worry about the codes that much um, for this. So right as we start it let's look at just some preliminary data we can look at misfire counters and why not so there's current and history let's just start up see how it runs oh come on it is shaky right now. I see a misfire cylinder 6. It does feel like a single cylinder misfire right now. Okay. So I'm going to put it in drive, just uh, engine brake it a little bit. Cylinder 2 is misfiring. So 2 and 6. Now it's only 2. And it Felt like it got a little better. So now it's six is counting up. So actually it feels like it's running more than on four cylinders, so that's that's a good thing. So we're we're worried about cylinders two and six at the moment. Look at the history. Two and six counting up, all the other ones are looking pretty good. So right now two and six are counting up very evenly. So I'm just slowly revving it up with no load. Looks like we have no misfires and it's actually running really smoothly. As soon as we put in gear, Cylinder 2 looks like the worst one. Okay, so let's start with cylinder 2. Look at that. The cylinder 6 is going again. Definitely a dead, dead miss right now. Um, the cylinder bank layout. Let's save that data <clears throat> just for future reference. If you want to know the banks, I mean, if you're familiar with these trucks, you you already know, but just to uh, show you guys on the screen here, let's go to ignition tests, fuel injection, ignition tests, component information. <clears throat> right there. So left bank, the driver's bank is the evens, and the right bank passengers is I'm sorry, the right bank passenger side is the even numbers, and the left bank is the odds. So we're worried about passenger side front cylinder right now. We just take off, you know, simple spark check at first with a spark checker, see if it comes out of the end of the wire. Uh, it definitely feels like an ignition problem because it kind of comes and goes. An ejector problem, that would not uh, come and go like that, especially under load. Uh, 
<clears throat> Hopefully it's just some bad spark plugs, right? I mean, this is a college, it's not Staten Island. So it's not gonna be a, <laughs> it's not gonna be that interesting, right? Let's just take a, another quick look at the misfire counter. So cylinder two, two and six it looks like are misfiring right now. So let's get out of here. Right, shut the truck off and just do some checks under the hood. And we have a flashing check engine light, by the way. Well, I can see that they didn't plug number two coil all the way back in. So let's let's plug it in just to uh, you know be 100% here. I know you're not supposed to touch anything before testing, but just run it right now. Look at the misfire counters. Make sure it's not just number six. I mean, this, this is a clean truck. <clears throat> Make sure we weren't making a breaking contact there. Right now, it runs pretty, seems to run pretty good. All right, let's put in, put in gear. Did we fix it? <laughs> that front's perfect right now. But we saw two and six were misfiring pretty bad from the get-go. Okay, you know, that's, that's fine. Uh, while it's running normally, let's look at fuel trims just to make sure, you know, one oxygen sensor isn't like stuck and then causing a whole bank to drop out. I mean, there are no other codes really. There's short term, there's long term, like, you know, within a few percent. That looks perfect. So the initial misfires that we felt, those are definitely ignition misfires and they only occurred on a cold wet start it was raining all night last night so you know it seems like it's a secondary ignition problem let's go back to misfires it's shaking just a little bit did you see that cylinder number two Number six. These guys are coming up. Let's see. Under load. Not bad. Put in park. Yep, it's starting to uh, shake a little bit. So two and six. Look at number eight counting up. Only on the right bank. Very interesting. Why is number eight counting up? Now if I rev it up, if I rev it up, it, it revs great. But at idle, look at this. On the right bank, we're getting some some weird it's definitely shaking oh well number seven is coming up a little bit I'm just put in gear and let it idle and park or uh, in drive seems to do it more in idle yep it's shake 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 <coughs> And let's look at the oxygen sensors. It's, it smells a little weird. Bank one and bank two are switching. 
Here's those short and long term fuel trims. Nothing crazy. There's bank one sensor one, bank two sensor one. Rev it up a little bit. So I'm not worried about the oxygen sensors and you know reporting bad data or something. We're still going back to secondary ignition here. Yeah, those look totally fine. Not worried about that. Let's go to misfire data. The cylinder two still seems to be the worst of the bunch. This is at like a thousand RPM, just light throttle. You gonna put it in drive. Nope, no misfires there. Yeah, there are a few occurring in the other bank. Anyway, I'd say, what if the uh, the right side cat is starting to get plugged? It's a possibility, but it would not explain the hard misfires on a cold start and it wouldn't rev as nicely and see what else it would be consistent misfires on all the cylinders in one bank not just two mostly <clears throat> okay so cylinder number two I want to put a spark checker in the end of the wire just do a visual inspection. Uh, maybe take out the spark plug, see what that looks like. Um, yeah, I think uh, this should be a secondary ignition problem. Real quick before we unplug anything, I got a secondary ignition probe on that number two spark plug wire. <clears throat> I just want to see what the uh, waveform looks like. If we can call a bad spark plug before we even do a visual inspection. Now again, if you don't have a scope, you can skip this step. <clears throat> but you know, why not use it if you have it? Very quick check. Just do uh, ignition scope, single cylinder. <clears throat> see where we are here. Well, we have some kind of waveform. <laughs> so let's see what it looks like during the misfire. The truck's running pretty decent right now. Not seeing anything crazy or out of the ordinary there. It's shaking a little bit. Hmm. 